Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and in today's video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these um, like little bear ear headband or mini mouse headbands whatever you want to call it here's my little girl wearing them but before i begin if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do and click the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video check out my handmade store jeanestar.com use the code youtube to get 15 percent off your order and all right so let's begin Okay, so I'm going to be using Sherpa fabric. I got this one at Hobby Lobby. So it's it's not super thick. I mean, obviously it's thick and warm, but it's you need a stretchy Sherpa. And I only got a little bit. You don't need that much. I'm going to fold it in half. And by the way, this gets very messy. And I'm going to fold it in half again. So I'm going to use um, acrylic ruler and my rotary knife blade. And what I do, I kind of press down and I'm just gonna cut it. And this headband's gonna be five inches in width. Okay, okay. You could also use scissors, but I actually like to cut it with this better. I'm gonna put this aside. And you need a six inch circle. So I'm using six inches. You can use the bigger circle, the bigger the ears. And I have this six inch bowl. This is a six inch bowl from Ikea, in case you have one so you can use that. And you can trace it with like chalk or a fabric marker. Um, this is, I don't have chalk and this is a black fabric so I won't be able to see it. Okay, and I'm just going to use scissors and cut out the circles. This is probably faster. And now for my headband. So I measured my daughter's head and, and it's 16 inches. So because this fabric is stretchy, I am going to cut 16 inches. Once you take off all the loose fur, it actually should not shed anymore. Okay, now for bows, I'm going to use this fabric. This is bullet fabric. This is textured, stretchy fabric, and you won't need much of it. I'm just going to make little mini bows. So the shirt you will need, you will need two of these. It will be three by eight. And then you're going to need another strip. I'm just gonna cut six inches. Uh, you'll need less than that, but I'm going to cut six inches. And then this strip, it's three inches. I'm gonna cut it in half like that. Okay, so this is gonna be our bows. This is the right side up, but I'm gonna lay it this way. And I'm going to fold in two inches. and then fold again until it's three inches. So I like to do these together, that way they're all even. I have three, one, two, three, and then I'm gonna use my little elastic headband and wrap it around, whatever. Cut that off to make it shorter. Okay, now these. Put a little dot of glue. Gonna wrap it around. And now I'm going to put this together. So for this part, you can use a sewing machine if your sewing machine lets you, or a serger if that lets you as well. I'm just going to use a needle and thread. So I'm using pretty strong thread. One of these bigger needles. I'm gonna put my thread through. 
Okay, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use a different color thread. I'll use this one so you can see it. I'm going to start at the edge, put this through, and there's a piece of thread hanging off. I'm just gonna hang on to it so it doesn't go through and then put the thread through the loop and that's it. So I'm basically, I tied a knot and I'm just gonna go like this. And then I'm gonna come to the end and I am going to tie that same knot. And I'm actually gonna do this again, just over the same spot. This is Sherpa, so it's so fluffy, you won't be able to see it. Okay, I'm gonna cut this off. Flip this inside out, here it is. So if you would have black, you won't be able to see it. Just fluff it. I'm gonna put this to the side and now I'm gonna work on my ears. I'm going to tie a knot. Okay, now I'm going to sew all around from beginning to end. Like that. So here it is. I'm gonna leave an opening. I'm gonna get my polyfill, and you don't need a lot because you don't want it heavy. And then you're just gonna put this in here, pull in the string. There it is. And then I'm just gonna close it. Here's my sewn on part in the back. I'm gonna flip this over. It helps if you have something around. So you could sew this on, but I'm, I'm just gonna glue it on. Okay, and if you like these bows better, which to me look more like the Minnie Mouse bow, I'm gonna show you how I did that. So you're doing a strip of fabric, and this is stretchy fabric as well, but this is double brushed poly. And I need it to be four inches width. And this needs to be, I have it over 18 inches. And you do need this tool. I got it on Amazon and I have a link in the description below. And I put my sticks at one and two. This makes it three inch bow. Okay, so this is the right side. So the right side is facing that way. And I'm gonna wrap it around just one time. Have my little short end right here. Put the long, the long one over, and then I'm gonna drag it underneath here like this. Make sure all your edges are folded in like that. Put it over, and then I'm just gonna tie a knot. And I'm going to take this off. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull the top. So then the top is a little longer than the bottom. And I'm gonna tie it a little tighter. Cut this off like this, leaving a little tail on both ends. And then I'm gonna tuck this in inside here at the bottom. And this will make the bow kind of stand once this part is tucked in at the bottom. 